Okay, we're going to do a, another quick video on uh, leaking fuel lines. Uh, I get, uh, you know, guys asking me, uh, you know, you have, uh, you know, like these steel and brass, like this one's off a of Quadrajet, and this is a uh, 3 8 you know, flared uh, fitting. Uh, this one here is a, uh, you know, 5 16 Those are the most common ones you find on, the, you know, carburetors. Uh, you'll also get... Uh, Multi-carbs like uh, uh, Corvette Tri-Powers and uh, 446 packs, you know, they'll have, uh, you know, those steel, steel lines, junction blocks, and there's a lot of fittings there. And um, one of the problems is, is uh, uh, especially if you're, you know, they sell a lot of stainless steel stuff, uh, you know, that's already flared, you know, to fit on. And, uh, you know, the, the way a, a flare fitting works is, uh, you know, the inverted part and, uh, you know, like male and female, you can call it, of the flare. And uh, the female part will fill around that, that flared bump. It's on an angle. And when you uh, compress it with the nut, it, it'll compress around the male. And in the perfect world, when those flares are absolutely identical, uh, it doesn't take much, just a little good and snug, and it seals. Well, you know, the problem is, is you know, you got a manufacturer making these fuel lines, you got another manufacturer making the, uh, you know, the uh, fittings, and if they're just off a little bit, uh, they're going to leak. And, you know, you'll get guys, uh, you know, cranking the crap out of the... Uh, uh, the nut trying to get them to leak and then they wind up going with wrapping Teflon tape around you know the uh, you know the, the fuel nut here itself this part where my thumb is now that's not where this thing seals it seals you know on the flare this this here part just compresses the flare down around it if you're, you're leaking around here, don't be putting no Teflon and gummy goo and that kind of stuff on here. You got to get the, uh, you know, the flare to seal. So what, what I use, and, uh, and it seems like the 3H flares are the worst. They, uh, I actually send these, uh, these seals, like with my quadrajets, so people aren't, because I actually had a customer one time, he wasn't using the whole back wrench, and he was just cranking the hell out of that, uh, you know, out of this fitting here and not using the, you know, hold back wrench on the big nut. And he just, you know, he might have even had a breaker bar, I don't know. But he actually snapped the front housing on the carburetor, you know, trying to get it to quit leaking. So what you what you use, and this comes from the uh, air conditioning industry, are these, uh, they're copper uh, flare washers. Let me get my big mitts up out of the way here. Let me see if I can hold it. See, it's uh, it matches the flare, you know. You know it's conical shape on this side. Hope this thing focuses. And uh, these come in uh, a few different sizes, like uh, most of the ones. Uh, they're like for three sixteenths, quarter, uh, five sixteenths, three eighths uh, fuel line. Now, uh, the uh, three eighths is common on quadrajets. jets. Five sixteenths is real common on Hollies and some of the older stuff. But the way it works is, you know, you've got your fuel nut, your fuel fitting, and you drop the the copper washer in. See, and you're matching up the flare. Then you take your your uh, fitting, and uh, you know that this part here is gonna fit over the other part of the washer. And uh, basically, you're just gonna tighten it down, and you know using a holdback wrench, and uh, 
you just get this one just good and snug you'll feel the copper given and that that will instantly uh, seal up these fuel uh, these uh, fuel lines uh, you can also use them on brake lines you know if you got three sixteenths quarter inch you know, a lot of guys are putting uh, uh, you know stainless steel brake lines on the car when they come to junction points uh, you know going into wheel cylinders and stuff because that stainless steel will not give you know and uh, it's leaking leaking well you can you can use these uh, the same thing put these in and uh, it, it'll seal never had one fail uh, I'm gonna the ones I buy are you'll, you'll see a lot of different ones out there like the Chinaman making stuff and they'll say it's a for three eighths and it comes back and the thing fits like a three-quarter so I, I don't know where they get their sizing from but the products I use is made by Parker P-A-R-K-E-R -E and uh, I'll give you some numbers here they start out with uh, uh, the numbers 2GF-3 is uh, 3 sixteenths uh, dash 4 2GF-4 is a quarter 2GF-5 is 5 sixteenths and 2GF-6 is 3 eighths but uh, ceiling washers and they'll come up and uh, you, you get you got to shop around because these things are pretty expensive uh, I can usually get them for around uh, I don't know dollar fifty a piece for the 3 eighths and uh, you know like 5 sixteenths or maybe 90 cents each and crap but you know you you got to you got to use them you know to get it to seal, and uh, you know without uh, you know cranking the hell out of the uh, the fitting. And the problem too is like when you use these these brass fittings, and you're putting a steel line on them, and you're cranking the hell out of them trying to get them to seal, you'll wind up smashing that uh, uh, that flare tit. You'll smash it down. And even with a copper washer, it won't seal anymore because you've basically destroyed the seat. But, hey, this is just uh, another tip. You know, these are, you know, when I buy them, you know, I get them in boxes. And these are 3 8 You know, these are the 5 16 Predominantly all the ones I use, these two sizes for, you know, carburetor stuff. And uh, this, this will save you guys a lot of, uh, uh, you know, aggravation and stuff.